Hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, this is just going to be a launch tour here on the channel um, because this is a game that I've got a decent bit of hours on. Um, no, I'm not the craziest of players as far as, um, you know, how some of the other creators are. This is just from a player that's kind of casually played the game uh, throughout the years. So I have about 19 days played on the game. Um, and this is kind of a culmination of all of those hours uh, of work as far as like trophies that I actually wanted. Uh, do keep in mind, if I'm not going over certain things, that is probably just a placeholder trophy so I could have an idea of how I wanted to set things up in the future. And one more thing before we also get into this, guys. Um, being that I am a console player, um, there is a pretty prevalent community of people who play the game on Xbox who do illegitimate trading as far as, you know, uh, getting trophies goes. They, if I can just go and show you guys, um, people will make these dumb posts. I'm sorry, I don't really support it. Um, you know, they will make these posts trading animals for people to, um, what's it called? Like trading, basically trading trophies. Um, and that's absolutely something I 150% avoided. I feel like if you trade trophies in a game like this, you're only taking away from the actual specialty or like the, you know, the, the, the special feeling you get when you actually do achieve finding something rare. So with that being said, um, we're just going to kind of jump right in. Now, if you guys do enjoy the video, uh, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because I will be doing more Hunter Call of the Wild content um, very shortly. But uh, right at the beginning of our lodge, we have two trophies right here. Uh, we got a melanistic uh, white-tailed deer. It's a male, obviously. And then we also got this nice little piebald that was um, actually when I first initially saw it, I thought it was bigger, but, um, yeah, these two are gonna be, like, the front pieces, um, now the next room, all of these up here on the wall are relatively simple, um, I was just trying to get an idea, and I just placed some of these here for the time being, but they will be shifted around, um, in the next room here, we do have an albino puma, um, and if you do keep, it, like, track of the dates and everything, you will see that I play this game, um, off and on, um, I'll get into it for a little bit. Um, back in this room, we have some trophies. We do have a dilute uh, mule deer up there, which is kind of nice. Um, he did have a nice rack as well for that time. Um, as well as we got a pretty big Rocky Mountain bulk, but that's about everything that is important to me in this room. Um, we do have an egg white male with gray wolf. I'm still waiting for the albino to pop up. Uh, we do have a pretty decent bighorn here, so there's a pretty decent moose in here as well. But everything else is relatively small, so we'll kind of go ahead up here. Uh, and there's nothing like majorly important or crazy to me up here. Uh, we just do have another dilute muley and as well as an albino female white tail. So that's going to be kind of that room. The next room up here is going to be kind of like the showcase all leading up to the actual main room. Um, we're not, that's a small bobcat. I did get the spirit fur type uh, brown bear from Medved and I, uh, I was told that these are relatively rare. Um, I never really looked at how rare they actually are. But um, nonetheless, he does look awesome compared to most of the bears that I have found. So we got to keep him on the wall. Uh, we have a couple black book, nothing too, too important in here. Uh, as we make our way down, we got my first diamond melee that took me forever to find, to be honest. But um, I absolutely love the way that the mule deer's horns or antlers look, so had to keep him for sure. I uh, got a couple placeholders here on the wall, as well as a nice little gem spot. Um... I think that's a diamond. Yeah, we got a little diamond uh, warthog right up there. Um, we got a couple wolves here. Uh, this is, again, it's a placeholder. Um, I want to eventually get um, ra rares for the gray wolves and a rare bison, but that's going to be way in the future because this game's hard to find those for. 
Uh, right in here, we got some caribou. These are all placeholders here along the wall. We got a piebald red deer. Uh, we got albino female moose. Uh, some of these butchered diamonds as well that you've been seeing throughout the lodge. Um, and here, it's like my watch robe room. Uh, we got the mouth lawn, some nice little red deer. I just love the way that the red deer's antlers are. Um, right here, I think that would have been, no. Nah. So yeah, we got all these guys on the wall, and then we got our diamond blue wildebeest from Verhunga, as well as an albino uh, blue wildebeest from Verhunga. Um, pretty sure that guy was almost diamond. Uh, we got this guy, and then we got this black buck that I'm relatively certain it would have made diamond if I didn't mature the shot. Um, it's one of the few maps that I go hunt on is uh, Quattro. I think it's Quattro or Parque Fernando. So getting diamonds from there has been kind of a rare thing for me. But um, going along this back wall here, we just have a few placeholder trophies. Um, nothing of major importance. We do have a diamond springbok here, as well as a blonde and a dark brown male lion. Um, this is one of my favorite setups, but hopefully in the future, once you guys see what else I have in store, we can get something better. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work on it, but it's really hard. Uh, we got a little uh, gold fallow. I think it would have made diamond, or previously was diamond, but I don't know if they changed it. Uh, we got this pretty cool looking Sika. Um, I don't hunt too many of them, just because, again, I don't play the map too, too often, so getting Sika is nice. Um, got a melanistic female, white-tailed deer there, and we'll make our way to the other two rooms. Now, these two rooms here are, are, are um, kind of placeholders. Um, so, we got a little Mexican bobcat there. Uh, I think I got a diamond in this room, actually. Uh, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, he's a diamond white tail that I killed a while back. And then uh, we also got just a couple of bighorn sheep. I just hunted this guy on the New England map yesterday. Um, so I was kind of happy about that. And then we got a couple of moose here. I just like this one because his paddle is all weird. And uh, this room is, again, is just a placeholder type of a room. Uh, we do have a piebald moose in there. Uh, one other important thing, I got a melanistic duck right there, but... In the main room this is where it starts to get a lot better so right off the bat we have a diamond bighorn sheep and these are probably one of my absolute favorite creatures uh in the game to make diamond just because um uh, being born in nevada i love this animal in real life and uh to see them get this big is crazy i've actually seen um a bighorn in real life that was fairly similar to this guy um, along the Colorado River a couple years ago. Um, back on this wall, there's nothing majorly important. Um, I just like the Sika deers. Um, and then right here, we have an albino mountain lion fighting off an albino... What is it? Um, blacktail deer, yep. And one of my only albino blacktails. Right here, we got our diamond lesser kudu. I don't think any of these other guys are big trophies. Um, I'm pretty sure that Lynx was a diamond that I, I butchered, but he nonetheless. Uh, right here we got an albino red deer female. Um, and placeholder for it is going to be for an albino diamond male, or at least the biggest I can get with the wild rack. So hopefully at some point I can get it. Um just here to come. This is, I believe, my first ever diamond lion that I killed um, in the albino lion grind. So, nice on that. Um, on this rack right here, I got the piebald male, the just under diamond uh, trophy for the white tail, which was kind of nice. Um, and then I have, I think, my first ever white tail diamond that I've ever killed. I don't think so, though, but. These two guys, you got a 236, 279, and a 275 trophy rating. This is my first diamond fallow. I found it special because they look awesome when they make diamond. Uh, right here, we got a diamond cape buffalo that I got on Ruhunga, um, as well as just a placeholder for another trophy buffalo. 
And again, a lot of these in here are going to be tra uh, trophy holders, but the piece de resistance is the albino Cape Buffalo right here, and I'll explain why. And then I also have the caribou right here, the red diamond. Uh, it's like my only diamond reindeer slash caribou uh, that I've managed to pick up. Now, once I can get it, I'm trying to have an albino male or female lion uh, with a blonde and a dark brown all attacking this Cape Buffalo. But it is rough to get diamond uh, lions. So, or not diamond lions, uh, albino lions to spawn. Um, I have a whole grind set up on Jahanga. And that's the first thing I ever really set up a grind for. But I'm trying to get that multi mount as fast as I possibly can. Um, it's actually been about a year in the making trying to get it uh, between being off and on in the game. Um, I don't know how many lion um, lions I've actually killed to try to get it, but I've I think I've gone pretty damn hardcore on the lion hunts. If there's any way I could check, that'd be awesome. But I, I don't think so. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think so. All I have is my latest harvests. As you can see, nothing big in there. A lot of white tail and moose, and a couple dusky. But um, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave you guys here on the lodge tour. It's nothing crazy special. Like this is still all work in progress. This is the culmination of a couple of years of progress though, uh, within the game, and a decent bit of hours. But hopefully, uh, in the future, I will get this lodge all set up to where. You know, majority of the animals in here are rares or big ones. Um, I don't go too crazy hunting the small game like rabbits and the birds or turkeys. Um, I just find them to all look too similar to where it's not really interesting to hunt them. Other than the fact that they're bragging rights if you do get a diamond. But um, I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. So if you did enjoy the video, uh, be sure to drop a like on the channel. So let's subscribe to be up to date. Um, I'm going to probably end up dropping another Hunter Call of the Wild video. Where it's not Trophy Lodge. Um, coming up, I have it in the works. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, definitely drop a sub. But um, other than that, it's been Breezy Gaming. I hope each and every single one of you have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.